The charge is murder in the first degree, and I reviewed and considered the uniform jury instructions for that charge and for the lesser included offenses. I reviewed and considered the uniform jury instructions on intoxication as a defense and on justification. I read and considered the briefs filed by the parties, including the brief filed by the defendant himself. The state has the burden of proving each of the elements beyond a reasonable doubt. First, the state must prove that on or about June 17, 2015, the defendant stabbed Kadisha Lemon in Dubuque County, Iowa. There is no factual dispute in that regard. The defendant himself has admitted to having stabbed Ms. Lemon. Second, the state must prove that Ms. Lemon died as a result of being stabbed by the defendant. There is no factual dispute in that regard. The state medical examiner indicated that Ms. Lemon's left lung was punctured by medical personnel who tried to save her life. Nevertheless, the cause of death was the loss of blood from the stab wounds. Third, the state must prove that the defendant acted with malice aforethought. And fourth, the state must prove that the defendant acted willfully, deliberately, premeditatedly, and with a specific intent to kill Ms. Lemon. Intertwined with those elements are the defendant's asserted defenses, namely that he was justified and acted in self-defense, and that he was intoxicated or under the influence of a drug or intoxicant. Intoxication neither excuses nor aggravates a person's guilt, but rather factors into the state's obligation to prove specific intent. Intoxication is a defense only when it causes a mental disability which makes the person incapable of forming the specific intent. Similarly, the state has the burden of proving that the defendant was not acting with justification. The use of a deadly weapon accompanied by an opportunity to deliberate is evidence of malice, deliberation, premeditation, and intent to kill. Just three weeks before this incident, the defendant made statements about smashing Kadisha's head like a pancake and killing her. He clearly had control of the frying pan that was used to knock her teeth out. He clearly had control of the knife that was used to stab her repeatedly. The state has proven beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant acted with malice aforethought and that he acted willfully, deliberately, premeditatedly, and with a specific intent to kill. The force used by the defendant was significantly unreasonable under the circumstances. No drug or intoxicant left the defendant incapable of, in, uh, incapable of forming the specific intent. The defendant is guilty of murder in the first degree. The defendant is advised of his right to file a motion for new trial and a motion in arrest of judgment, both of which must be filed within 45 days after reading of this verdict, but not less than five days before the date set for pronouncing judgment. Sentencing hearing will be held on January 23, 2017, at 3.30 p.m.